A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. When the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Well, if we're honest with ourselves, there we've all experienced a time when we've asked a question, not really wanting to know the answer to the question, but perhaps trying to trap a person in their response. And that is what has been going on here. First, the Sadducees had a go at it, and they were unsuccessful in trapping him in his responses. So now the Pharisees have come along thinking that they can do better and that maybe they will trap Jesus in his response. But it's interesting to see that they're unable to do this because Jesus knows what he's talking about. And he gives them responses that they're unable to dispute, right? He talks about loving God with all your heart and all your mind and all your soul. And he talks about um, loving our neighbors as ourselves. And they have nothing to say in response to this. Well, God calls us to be genuine with one another. And even though here we're looking at the Sadducees response, I think it's a good reminder to us that we should be genuine in our discussions with others and be direct. We don't have to play games to see if we can trap people in their, through their responses um, or we can find something to pick at in their response that will somehow diminish their message. Let us be genuine through and through in our communication with one another. And if we have something we want to say or something that we want to know, let us go about that directly rather than playing games with people and trying to trap them to see if we can trap them in their response. It's sad to me that these religious leaders had one goal in mind and that was to trap Jesus. Had they listened and allowed his messages to sink into their hearts, they would have triumphed in a way they could have never imagined. But instead, they judged him negatively from the first and anything he said to them, they sort of heard through a filter looking for those parts of it that they could tear down or use as evidence to accuse him. So let's take a lesson from, from that. Let us not be the type of people who do that, but let us be genuine in our discussions so that we are building up and encouraging and adding genuine knowledge to ourselves that can be used for us to move forward. Let us lay our hearts before God and do all that we can to follow Jesus genuinely. Amen.